As the sun sets over the African savanna, Zara the zebra and her friends gather around, their eyes turning to the skies, changing colors. Look at the sky, it's like a big canvas of colors. It's beautiful, but have you ever wondered what happens when the sun goes down? As the deep blue of night spreads across the savanna, the first stars twinkle above, like tiny guides in the vast sky. Each star, a sun in its own right, millions of miles away. Their light, a journey across time and space to reach us. There's the first star, make a wish. I wish every child could be happy, play freely and receive the education they deserve. Just like these stars, every child should have a chance to shine. Their curiosity about the stars grows. Each star in the sky, a fiery ball of gas burning through the cosmos. Some are larger than our sun, others much smaller, each playing its part in the celestial dance. Let's find out more about these stars. Maybe they have stories to tell. An old wise owl perched nearby overhears them and decides to share his knowledge. Each group of stars is a constellation, and they have been told in stories for centuries. Mr. Owl, you seem to know so much. Please tell us about these patterns in the stars. Ah, these are constellations, ancient stories written in the sky. The owl points to a group of stars. That's Ursa Major, or the Great Bear. It's a constellation visible throughout the year. The Big Dipper is a part of it, serving as a guide to the North Star. It does look like a big bear. They then spot another prominent constellation. And there's Orion, the hunter, easily identifiable by his belt. Those three stars in a line, that's his belt, and the bright star above it is his shoulder. Yes, it's so clear. The owl guides their gaze to a smaller but significant constellation. The Southern Cross, or Crux, a crucial tool for navigators in the Southern Hemisphere. It helps in identifying the South and the seasons. It's like a compass in the sky. They notice that some stars have different colors. Stars appear in various colors. Blue stars are hotter than red ones due to higher surface temperatures. I always thought red meant hotter. The sky is full of surprises. Suddenly, a shooting star streaks across the sky, a meteor burning up in the atmosphere. There goes a shooting star. Let's all make a wish. The tradition of making a wish on a shooting star dates back centuries, a symbol of hope and wonder. The Milky Way begins to emerge, a river of stars across the sky. That's our galaxy, the Milky Way. It's a spiral galaxy, one of billions in the universe. It's home to our solar system and billions of stars. It's like a glowing river. Their attention turns to the moon and its phases. The moon changes shape across the month, from a new moon to a full moon. The moon's phases are due to its orbit around Earth, changing the portion we see illuminated by the sun. It waxes and wanes over a month. It's like a nightly show. The owl shares stories of how different cultures see the sky. Many cultures have their own stories about the constellations. The sky is full of tales. They find a telescope invented by Hans Lippershey in the 17th century, forever changing our view of the universe. They take a closer look at the stars. With this, we can see the stars up close. They're even more beautiful up close. The owl talks about the vastness of space and other planets. Beyond our galaxy, there are countless others, each with its own stars and planets. Space is an endless frontier of exploration. It's like an endless adventure out there. As dawn nears, Zara reflects on their discoveries. We've learned so much tonight. The stars, constellations, and galaxies are more than just lights in the sky. They're stories, science, and history, all waiting to be explored. And as they bid farewell to the night, they knew there were more tales to be told, more mysteries of the African continent and our world to explore. Tales of junior adventurers will continue to be their guide to the wonders of our planet.